Je donne à présent la parole à M. Robin Geis. Monsieur le Président, Mesdames et Messieurs les membres du Conseil de sécurité, Excellences, Mesdames et Messieurs, c'est un véritable honneur pour moi de m'exprimer dans l'enceinte de ce Conseil et je souhaiterais tout d'abord exprimer ma sincère reconnaissance envers la Suisse pour l'invitation formulée à l'égard de l'UNIDIR, l'Institut des Nations Unies pour la Recherche sur le Désarmement. Depuis son instauration en 1980, en tant qu'institution autonome de recherche au sein des Nations Unies, l'UNIDIR aide les États membres des Nations Unies à mieux comprendre les implications de la science et de la technologie dans le domaine de la paix et de la sécurité internationale. Il convient de se rappeler que toutes les technologies bien établies qui façonnent aujourd'hui la réalité de la paix et des conflits étaient autrefois considérées comme émergentes. Le récent développement dans le domaine tel qu'est la robotique avancée, l'impression 3D, la biotechnologie, l'espace cybernétique ou extra-atmosphérique sont désormais pleinement reconnus comme une source de préoccupation dans les discussions sur la paix, les conflits et en matière de désarmement. In an interconnected digital world, new technologies and scientific advances are developed, marketed, and adopted with unprecedented and ever increasing speed. It took half a century for the electric grid system developed in the 1880s to reach 100 million homes globally. In 2022, ChatGPT achieved the same result in just two months. This points to a drastic compression of the time available to policymakers to react and adapt to scientific and technological advances in today's world. At the same time, the increasing convergence of different technologies combined with their inherent dual-use nature can lead to far-reaching and unintended consequences. It is the compounding effects of different scientific fields, technologies, and social contexts all coming together that have the greatest disruptive potential for how wars will be fought, peace achieved, and stability maintained. The relationship between humans and technology is also evolving as we move from assistance by technology via enhancement by technology and ultimately to replacement by technology. The growing use of advanced robotic systems in warfare provides a clear example with robots employed for tasks considered too dangerous for human soldiers, such as bomb disposal or fire support. And notably, this is just one example based on technologies that are already available today. With the scientific and technological landscape evolving at such blistering pace, we often lack a clear sense of what is being developed, by whom, and with which resulting impacts, including for international peace and security. This issue is compounded by the siloed nature of today's international arms control architecture, which does little to support knowledge sharing and coherent analysis of new trends and their impacts. To enable timely and effective policy responses to future crises and conflicts, and to ensure proper protection of civilians, peacekeepers, and humanitarians, we need to increase our awareness and understanding of the growing threats and opportunities arising from scientific and technological developments. This is particularly clear from the twin examples of quantum technology and artificial general intelligence. Within the next five to 10 years, quantum technology will impact peace and security in many significant ways. First, it will disrupt information and communication security by making traditional encryption techniques ineffective and therefore obsolete. Second, Quantum sensors will enable the detection of objects underground or underwater, revolutionizing warfare on the one hand and monitoring and verification efforts on the other. And third, quantum computing will unlock a new era for artificial intelligence by enabling computation of models that cannot currently be run on even the most powerful computers. Precisely on the topic of quantum, UNIDIR and the Geneva Science and Diplomacy Anticipator, JESTA, will soon be co-hosting the UNIDIR Innovations Dialogue, an important international platform for horizon scanning and future-oriented analysis. Over the next decade and beyond, significant advances are also expected in the field of artificial general intelligence, or AGI for short. Unlike current AI systems, 
which excel at specific tasks but are limited to narrow applications, AGI would be able to understand, learn, and apply knowledge dynamically across a wide range of contexts, allowing it to operate with a degree of flexibility more akin to human intelligence. This profound shift would have far-reaching consequences throughout society, but with two particularly concerning risks for peace and security. First, the loss of control risk. Once AGI reaches a level of intelligence beyond human capabilities, humans might lose the ability to govern or constrain its actions. Many experts see this as a concrete and plausible risk that is worthy of serious consideration, particularly given the existential nature of the threat. Second, the value alignment problem. That is the challenge of ensuring that an AGI's goals, motivations, and decision-making criteria remain at all times aligned with human values, ethics, and well-being. This powerful technology could be leveraged for good to tackle complex global challenges, but should it come to be used irresponsibly, it could pose significant and indeed existential risks to both human and international security. Excellencies, anticipation and early understanding of technologies on the horizon can enable decision makers, including the Security Council, to take informed action that both leverages potential benefits and also prevents or mitigates novel threats arising from lack of awareness, loss of control, or miscalculation. The Pact for the Future rightly stresses the need for evidence-based knowledge as the basis for policymaking. This is particularly relevant for science and technology, where media hype often reaches us more rapidly than sound, factual, scientific knowledge. Given the Council's primary responsibility for the maintenance of international peace and security, it could therefore consider the following actions. First, institutionalizing regular horizon scanning dialogues on technological and scientific developments, a format used by the Council in the past. Aside from fostering early awareness on nascent science and technology, these dialogues would also allow for preemptive consideration of what novel protection needs and challenges might arise, and how existing laws, norms, and regulations could be interpreted in light of anticipated applications. And second, leveraging the work and expertise of different UN bodies to the benefit of the Council through ad hoc briefings on scientific and technological fields of particular interest. This could include, for example, annual briefings on the Secretary General's report on the impact of science and technology on international peace and security, specialized briefings from the Scientific Advisory Board for independent advice on breakthroughs in science and technology, and expert advisory support from UNIDIR whose Futures Lab initiative is dedicated to horizon scanning in the fields of arms control, disarmament, and global security. Crucially, of course, the Council itself can also offer a unique perspective of its own on how scientific advances and new technologies impact peace and security. In this way, it can strengthen the ability of the UN system as a whole to better prevent or respond to newly emerging threats, bolstering in turn the prospect of sustained peace and security in the future. I thank you for your attention. Je remercie Monsieur Geis de son exposé.